Right, so what we're going to do now, for about for literally 10 minutes, we're going to do a, a, a little exercise which is like a role model, but it isn't, it isn't kind of role modeling. I'm going, to, I'm going to pick seven of you. If you want, if you, if, if, when I say to you, would you do this, and you don't want to, just decline. Okay. Particularly if you don't know what you're going to do, it's not, not a problem. I'm going to get seven of you. I'm going to get you in a little circle, and I'm going to give the seven of you a task, and the rest of us are just going to watch for 10 minutes. And therefore, in watching, this is not light entertainment. In watching, we are trying to discern if we can work out what the process is that's going on in this group, as well as the words that are coming out of people's mouths. Does that make sense? Okay. If you don't, if you don't, that's what we're going to do. So when you're in the group, I'll give you a piece of paper and it tells you what to do. All right? Uh, but you won't know what that is until I put you in the group. If I say, would you join the group? And you don't want to just say no, it's not a problem. I'm not all doing this. I just need seven volunteers that I choose. <laughs> <laughs> See what's going on group process wise there. Well, well, I suppose, well, one of the very simple things I've thought about before, I want, I want you to if you don't mind, because I actually want you to get out of the way so we can put the chairs here. <laughs> so, with you two, are you happy to join? Yeah, you happy to join? You happy to join? Okay. Um, and I need, that means I need five more people. Are you happy to join? Are you happy to join? Are you happy to join? Yeah. Are you happy to join? And are you happy to join? That's great. So could you form, the seven of you, could you form a circle? This was a western with the, you know, putting the thingy box to the line. Circle in this, what do you call it? The wagon, circle the wagon, circle the wagon, circle the wagon. Get yourself, try and get an even circle. I ask these two, so it's <laughs> Try and get an even circle. Do you feel rejected? Saints, this is always an interesting question when you're dealing with ordinance, isn't it? Is there a Bible in the room? <laughs> oh, <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Great. Yeah. You do get extra mark. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you this. I'm going to give you this don't, don't show anybody else your piece of paper, okay? All right, don't show anybody else your paper. We've not started yet, but I will tell, I will tell you when we're going to start. Digest what your task, what your particular person task is, okay? And all I'm going to do, because I've told someone to kick the thing off, uh, I'm just going to let it run for ten minutes unless somebody, unless something funny happens. Just me. And our, the task of the rest of us is just to watch. And watching is quite hard actually, because it, it, it's not supposed to be entertainment. Um, I put them here. If you want to move any any point and stand up, feel free and even wander around the room because sometimes you might want to know, you just might want to stand here. But don't try and move too much. We want, we want you to try and forget we're watching and just engage in this and just try and do what you've been asked to do. Is that okay? Okay. We're going to do it for 10 minutes. You might need that, but you don't have to have that. Everybody know what we're doing? So we do our best on the outside not to interfere with what's going on, on the inside. Yeah? Okay. So, so, so can I just clarify that? Yeah. But it, well, we've got a task for the day. No, it's time to do. Oh, sorry. Let's just stop. There we go. Right, are you ready? Everybody in position that you, you can see from where you are? We're running, we're running for 10 minutes, then we'll kind of unpack it. Okay? Here we go. What we're going to do this evening is we're going to have a study about the Beatitudes from the first eight verses of Matthew's Gospel, chapter 5. I think we should do more, actually. Well, we'll, we'll start with the first eight and we'll see how we get on. So, oh, is there somebody who would like to read the passage for us? Thank you. Sorry, we could just clarify how many.
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they will receive mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will receive God. Thank you for your <clears throat> So those are the verses that we have to reflect about. Is there one of them in particular that stood out to you? Mm -hmm. Both. Sums up everything about what Jesus was. So tell me one thing from your thought that you've got within you. <coughs> it's, it's clear as mud, isn't it? Clear as mud. Yeah. Clear as eight what Jesus was saying there. Right. So it's summed up in all that what he said. Thank you, but tell me one thing that you thought was important from that. Just one. Was it blessed are the poor in spirit? But everything else qualified it as well. No, I'm interested to hear. <coughs> Summing it up is what Jesus is talking about there. Is that those who are poor in spirit? You don't work that one out. Well, that's why I'm asking the question, really. I'm not sure. What do you think? What do you think? We need to be clear about this, don't we? Yeah, yeah. Because you didn't want to be a for anything. Have you had any idea what's going on? at the moment, don't you? <laughs> so th this one says, blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Do you want to put that one or shall we say another one? I think we need to clarify everything. Not just the one, let's do the one. Yeah, because the majority of the people are poor in spirit. Yeah. 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 And let's have a consensus of opinion. Do you think we should do more or just
do this in separate stages. Yeah, can you normally is. Don't, don't tell people what your thing was yet, but before you do anything else, if any of you just need to do anything, just this wasn't a role play, but it does do things to people. If you don't need, anybody needs to do anything right now, just to sort of say, I am a nice person. Thank you. 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 Thank so those of you who are watching, can any of you discern what you think any of these people might be, what, what the process might be going on? Because they were, they were told to do certain things. Anybody work out who was doing what? Well, I think it, it must have been, and what I found yeah. in there is was Jane played someone who didn't have an opinion. <laughs> 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 So what do you think was going on with Jane then? Well, she didn't want to say anything. Right, okay. <laughs> I've never said that about Jane before. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't want to say anything. Okay. So and it is, as a, as a process, it, it can be extremely disruptive. interesting because um, the way you discern the, uh, what Nicola did is, is how you discern it. Okay. So what did your piece of kick rap to say? Well, I found this really hard. Yes. I was uncomfortable yeah. when you gave it to yeah, yeah. it. Just said, be the centre of attention. Yeah. But I thought you did quite well. Do we, do they have be the centre of attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, so again, it's, 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 it's the perception is here. You know, the perception is that she wants to be the leader, because that's what we see. The process is, here's a person who wants to be the centre of attention. One way to be the centre of attention is to be the leader, or to jump up and down in the middle of the group. It doesn't matter. But what we see from the outside, we see something, we know some process is going on. Working out what the process is going on. And this is a fairly um, um, non-helpful process in the group as a whole, is it not, Fran? Yes. <laughs> Yours is the easiest. What do you think Fran's job was supposed to be? Was John was supposed to be to lead the Bible. To lead the Bible study, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> anybody else? Anybody else in the group? Chapel, yeah. 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 Okay. So we've got what three more people left? I think Ross and the blue yeah. in the corner there. Uh, forgive me for saying this, because sometimes Ross can appear disinterested, but he was still with me. Deliberately playing a disinterested role, but he wasn't participating in this group or taking on what was getting said. Who did he speak? And he was almost forming a subgroup. So, so, so what's that about? Any idea? Any idea what was going on? What do you think his brief might have been? Male. I thought it was male. Yeah, what was it actually? He disagreed. No, women. Ignore women. Oh. Okay. For good or real, I've definitely been yeah, in situations yeah. like that. You know, I've, I've been in situations. I was in a situation four, four or five years back where a student kept you know, relating to me all the time and wouldn't relate to the person I was teaching with because of their gender. And it, you know, it's, to me, it's pretty obvious. The fascinating thing was that some people in the room were obvious and some people didn't notice. That's just, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. It's about how we actually tune ourselves to this. Yeah. So who's got that? Yeah. Well, I thought mine was the hardest thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, mine was the hardest thing in a group of ordinance. It says, try to enable people to speak. They never shut up. But you did have you did the opposite. Try. You did try. 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 But you were the only one that wasn't doing it. And I know what it Mine was hard, because it's, it's not my natural way of it. Did, yeah. and I had I kept finding myself sort of second guessing them. Is this me by acting on? Sure. Because yeah. you, you yeah. challenged me. I thought I can't do what I'm supposed to do. To block any suggestion you made. Yeah. Uh, and I couldn't. And I was trying to find other ways thought, to put ah. it. Yeah. Really difficult because yeah. it's not my natural way to yeah. do things. So. Yeah. I mean, my my big thank you to all seven of you having a go. I'm surprised you didn't want to do that. It's okay. We didn't even. 
most do the assembly. So it's a good idea of yours to say, just put your hand up, say, imagine looking at this. <laughs> 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 we don't have <laughs> <laughs> <don't, we> <laughs> done six, this Bible study, you know, we've been going for six minutes. Oh, and it felt like, like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 felt, it feels like an hour, doesn't it? And yet you can see an awful hell of a lot of stuff. Okay. Well, 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 I'll tell you what's fascinating, Nicola, because I, I appreciate that you said you find yours hard to, to hard to do. And I've done this exercise before. It's some people, you know, turn into the kind of, you know, the, uh, the circus gesture and keep jumping around all the time and shouting, me, 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 and whatever it might be. But this is the first time, I've done this about five times now, this is the first time I've ever heard the passage read. Most groups don't get that far. But what did you do? You jumped in two feet, got the Bible, and started reading the passage. Because you watched for the centre of attention. So in actual fact, we, the group actually heard the passage. I've done this before, we never even hear the passage. <laughs> <laughs> because someone said, oh, why are we doing that? Why are we doing that? That's me. So I mean, you, you acted very, very, your character acted very, very decisively. And then there was this little interaction, wasn't it, about who had the Bible? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you wanted to end up in pieces. Yeah. You could have ripped up massive Bible. How do you get the control of the Absolutely. group? Absolutely. Yeah. 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 I didn't know what I was yeah. to do, actually. That's right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. And, in, and we looked at you as the leader, though. We, we all naturally, yeah. like, well, what's Brian going to do next? I find myself looking to you for a cue as to yeah. what can I block next. It was quite funny because the bloke came on yeah. like the talking stick, didn't it? Yeah. 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 So you should have watched the Bible and you should be aware. And even though, it was, even though what Nicola did was perceived in a particular way, in actual fact, there was never any victim leadership in the group. It was just full yeah. of dysfunctional people. But it was also, <laughs> initially, it was actually very helpful. Of course it was, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you yeah. offered to do something which was going to help facilitate the group. Indeed, yeah. So even though it then became a bit more. Yeah. That's a classic thing, though, isn't it? As a, a means of grabbing control of some places and some opportunities and some techniques and sort of that. So, so here, here's, here's the rule without getting too obsessed about this, because I am focusing on process tonight, and we'll, we'll yeah. don't do this all the time in the Sunday school. This thing ran for six minutes and it's full of process. You're going, to be, you're going to be in groups for five days, each, each session two hours, followed by a coffee break, followed by one hour. And at some point, after a couple of sessions, you, you might even dare to think nothing has happened. Or you might think, I can't believe how much has happened. But it's the difference between the content and the process. And for some of us, as I say, some of us come to this naturally, some of us have to work at it. So one of the ways in which you work at it is cliche things like, for example, looking at people's body language. But you can, you can also, you can also experience how people abuse that, don't they? keep commenting on your body language all the time. I mean, actually, fact, you've just got a sore shoulder or something, whatever it might be. But if someone sits there, you know, with their arms crossed for the whole, for the whole of an, a two-hour session, then there is something going on, isn't there? Yeah. So, so there's, lot, there's lots of visual clues. The way, the way in which we sit, you know, like you, you left the group, didn't you? By actually turning out, so you know what I mean? When you say leave the group, that doesn't mean you have to actually get up and walk out the door. But in terms of the process, someone leaves the group because they're not either at looking, working to the task or looking to the group or looking to the individual anymore. And going back to my, my three things, as an individual, even when you're not a leader, you can contribute to the task, you can contribute to other people, you know, be okay, <coughs> and you can do something which helps the life of the group. Do you know what I mean? So you can contribute to all those, all those three things. So thank you for doing that. It's, it's merely illustrative. Can I just ask you, have yeah. you ever done this sort of thing before? Remember the, um, the worst module plan? Yeah. yeah. The one that was yeah. groups. Do you not ever run this sort of example perhaps prior to that? Because oh, I'd love to have it. Yes, it's, it's, quite it's quite, yeah, it's quite um, intrinsic to the way you design it groups is. work when you're designing a worship. Of course it is. They've been quite hand to hand that before we got into our groups. And of course it is. I mean, when I say, when I say um, some of us do this intuitively and some pick it up, I, I, I was trained in small group process, so I went on several five-day events. Mm -hmm. I'm not joking, it was only on day four of the first five-day event one. I went, ah, oh, I get it now. Because it's a, it's a kind of, it, you either just get it or you don't, and you can't make it, you can't make it happen. And all of a sudden you start paying attention to other things rather than just what the person is saying. 
So when someone says something, are they really saying that? Are they saying people who want to block it or whatever it might be? What's, what is their, what, why are they trying to do that? And PCCs are full of process. I'm, if you get a PCC that hasn't got any process in, you're really, really blessed. What it means is they've been working at their stuff so hard that they know each other so well that they're always on the task because at the same time, they're always paying attention to each other. And you did try, didn't you, after about two minutes to try and ask what was going on, which is exactly the right thing to do. It's just that this is obviously impossible to handle. So thank you for that. I thought you'd, I thought you'd manage it. <laughs> <laughs> that was really good. So a round of applause, I think. You don't like it. Anymore, right? Thank you. You want to <coughs> handing your piece of paper back a symbolic way of getting rid of that thing that I was asked to do. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. So, folks, I've nearly finished this bit now because I'm trying to, you know, finish, not go to the death in terms of half past nine. Uh, I'm, in a few minutes, we're going to have a. I'm going to say to you, we're going to have 20 minutes on thinking about your worship, and after that, we'll go home. I've got the very tiny quick piece of worship at the end of a couple of minutes. But is there anything you want to ask about that? We've, we've unashamedly focused on process tonight, which is only one of the things that's happening at summer school. It's not all about process. But in order to, for example, to lead a theological reflection, in order to lead a PCC meeting, in order to get three other people at church to paint the fence with you, you've not only got to understand what the task is, you've got to understand what's going on when they walk up with the paint pot. It's as simple as that. So the process is as important as, as that. As the task. And a lot of us, partly because of the way we're brought up, spend a lot of time just working in our heads with the content rather than thinking what's actually going on in the room here. That was a bizarre example. Of, I mean, most of our PCCs might have one of those people, and you've got a bizarre thing where in seven people you've got six people who don't know how to be in a group basically, and one poor person trying to be the group leader. But that gives you a feeling of what it's like when that kind of thing starts happening to you. Any other questions? Okay, can I just look at the, the worship task which is on the back then? This is relatively straightforward, but let me just spell it out for you. Um, as you can see, the, the other bits of summer school are not ready yet, so some of this information isn't here, but it says the service to which each group is responsible is shown in the worship rota. When in actual fact, group one I know group one is actual, in actual fact is Sunday night, group two is Monday, group three is Tuesday, group four is Wednesday. Okay. There'll be at least one or two other design groups which are not in the room here, if you tell me. But that should be clear on the should be clear on the timetable. So group one will be Sunday night. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And on the timetable, with the exception of group four, because when we met four weeks ago, I thought there were only three groups. You should usually find that the feedback is timetabled to be around tea time, i.e. a cup of tea time, four o'clock, the day after your worship, to get half an hour with me or somebody else on how your worship went. So I think the timetable you've got at the moment has Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but not Thursday. Does that make sense? Gary, yeah, go. Is it always evening press every week? It's always in the <coughs> evening press slot. Yeah. So, and the next important thing is, look, if you've got your timetable or you remember your timetable, there are two worship design sessions on Sunday. And it says Sunday, that's wrong, it's Saturday. That's a typo, if you can hear that. Nobody got a programme, just say Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday, yeah. It's Saturday, yeah. So I must check, that, that's a typo. So there are two sessions on Saturday. This is quite important because I, I do this tonight to kind of warm you up and so <coughs> back to our issue about process so you know what's coming. But in my mind, if you haven't met tonight and I haven't told you, Two 90-minute sessions is enough time to design a simple act of evening prayer. In other words, the task is achievable and completable at summer school, even if you want something to be printed, because we'll print it for you. But what you do tonight is you now know which group you're in, you now know which evening you're working for, but with the exception of this group, every other group has got somebody missing. So the really important thing is to make sure that person doesn't feel left out. And hopefully from next week, because at the moment the IT person is on holiday, hopefully from next week there'll be a forum place on Moodle where you can go on within the pastoral care module for each of these four groups. So you don't have to you know, worry about finding, getting people's emails and stuff. Yeah. 
Um, but it, it's really important to be cognizant of the people who are in your group who are not here tonight. It might even, you know, somebody take responsibility for being in touch with them. So, uh, the parameters with which you are to design the worship are the evening prayer should follow the rubrics of either a service of the word, or BCP, or daily prayer. So normally, you know, on the weekend we say do evening prayer from the Red Prayer Book. We're simply saying to you, group one, you're doing evening prayer on Sunday night. Basically, use a right of the Church of England. But, but you've got to do, you know, it's only got the last 20 minutes as well. This could be this could be absolutely simple. You could do you could do evening prayer by the Red Book, or you could take service of the Word and do something really creative in the 20 minutes. You, you, you've got it's entirely up to you. I'm suggesting, but not compelling you, to use the lectures that are set for that day for evening prayer. And some of the days. Monday, for example, that's your group, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Monday's Mary Magdalene, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, yours is, can't remember, a, a Celtic saint. I think you're Sunday, and I think you're all I think you're just Wednesday. I think you're just Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. <laughs> and that cuts both ways. More freedom, more inspiration. You know what I mean? Okay. Use whatever worship, design worship is appropriate for our context. What does that mean? It's the usual thing, it's summer school, it's going to be about 50 or 60 people there, it's students and staff, ordained people, people in training, lay people, yeah, don't assume we're all ordained at the same stage of our thing, and um, use whatever resources you wish, projection equipment is there, etc, etc. Uh, it's useful if you decide, if you think you're going to decide you want to use IT, it's helpful if you let me know, but it's not essential. Um, anything else you need to provide for yourselves, if in doubt, check with me. What does this next bit mean? However, given the ethos of Hope Chapel, you may wish to consider how any technology you use might be in tension with the design of the building. I'm not, that's, what, what, that's about me saying, have a second think, especially if you're the kind of person who comes from a very technologically driven background in terms of your worship, I'm talking, you know, sound, uh, screens, music, etc. If you've not been to Liverpool Hope Chapel, it's a, it's a Roman Catholic chapel, a modern chapel laid out in a very simple way. How can you use them? How can you make the chapel work for you rather than just say, well, let's forget about what was built, but we'll just go in a corner and we'll put a screen on? Because that could have been in this room. So it's not saying you shouldn't use anything, it's saying just think, well, how how, how is what we're doing in sympathy with? How is what we're doing? being enhanced, how is it enhancing this space in which we find ourselves. The reason I say this is that most of the time you design worship for summer school, we're in a, we're in a, we're in a wedding suite, aren't we in a conference room? You're in a big chapel. Yeah. All things are possible, just think about it. And printing, copy and filters will be available when you get there. You need to have it in at least by in the morning if you're having it in the evening. But Liverpool are very good, they've done, they've done this before, they know what's coming, I make an arrangement with them. So if someone wants something printing, it, everything is possible within the constraints of the time you've got. And the last thing I would say is, do your utmost best to have your worship finished by the end of the second 90 minute session. If you don't do that, you'll end up eating into some of your free time later in the week. <coughs> and I firmly believe that if you've got two 90 minute sessions and there's eight people in the group, you can do, you can put together evening prayer. So if you think, you know, well, you can just play safe and do it by the book. You could do it for 20 minutes, couldn't you? Missed opportunity. But you've got two 90-minute sessions. Is that okay? And you've got, I'm going to give you 20 minutes tonight just to kind of just think about that, you know, talk to each other. If you've had enough after 15, we'll stop then. Short closing act of worship, we'll go home. Is that okay?